Hmm. Hello. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? <clears throat> I need to do my shout out really quick. Every, every social media platform has changed. I, it has changed. And it's just really hard to navigate when you're not used to it. I am live now. Jewelry auction. Hip flipping, Mama. YouTube. Link in bio. I way slept in today, guys. <clears throat> that was a request to hear me sing. No, I'm not going to sing. Hi, Sharon. How are you, honey? Ah, that's hot. My hair is wet. Not that I have much of it. But what I have of it is wet. All right. So, guys, I have got quite the menagerie of jewelry for you today. Quite the menagerie. I did, Sharon. And to be honest with you, I had her really chop. I wish this would stand up. I had her really super chop it um, because I otherwise I have to get a cut every single month because it was growing. It was way over the top. Actually, she could have went shorter on my ears. Um, it was like way over my ears and that was just too much. That was just too much. Way too much. I don't like having hair now. Oh, thank you, honey. It's. It's not what I, this is what I wanted. I wanted this super short. This, I would have preferred right here in the front to be longer. But that's okay. Whoops, I should take my ring off first, huh? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. That's a ring, isn't it? I'll be right back. I gotta get my never doll. I'm back. Hi, Barbara. How are you, Barbara? I 
So I took this, my Never Doll, over to my mother's last night because she needed jewelry cleaned. She said she was struggling to get her jewelry clean, and I said, well, let me bring my stuff over, and then it won't be so hard for you. And we talked about my aunt and everything, and so that was pretty emotional night for my mom last night, but she got to grieve. Her sister has been staying with her, and her sister lives in the UP, so the fact that her sister's been there, and her sister has had, my aunt, has had several strokes, and she doesn't have, like, a grasp like a normal person would because of her several strokes. Hi, Beck. You got your box? Oh, good. Hi, Kay. And um, every time my mom would cry, my Aunt Clara would hit her. She'd smack her in the arm, which, number one, you don't do. But number two, my mom's got fibromyalgia, and that's if you smack somebody in the arm with fibro, and that's one of your owie spots. It feels like a sledgehammer, okay? And that's where she was smacking her. So, and so my mom couldn't grieve. She would say, Lou, stop it. Stop it. You stop crying right now. And um, so my mom didn't get to grieve, like, at all. And, uh... So my aunt went home and um, she flew home. So I went to my mom's yesterday and we were talking and we were talking about my aunt Gail that had passed. And um, so my mom finally got to grieve. Um, she got to talk about my aunt Gail and... Um, you know, and the kids, all the kids, um, the brothers and sisters, you know, my aunt's brothers and sisters. So my mom and, and her siblings um, split everything up. It was like a lottery. You pick a number and then that's the, the number you get to pick something. Well, my mom picked four all the time. Like every time she picked, she'd pick four. So she always got like, hi, Sandra. You got the ring. And how happy are you with it, Sandra? I got to know. How happy are you with it? You love it. That's nice. I'm happy. I'm happy that you love it. So I, was, I wasn't going to stay over there that long. But my mom had a couple pieces um, of furniture that she had brought from my Aunt Gail's that, you know, she had gotten to pick. And she didn't have room for them in her apartment. And she wanted me to take them. And, quite honestly, I don't know if I have room for them, but I will make room for them because they were my aunts. And it would be nice to have something from my aunt, you know. So, it is what it is. You loved everything back? That's good. Oh, well, honey, you know how it is. This ring was supposed to be my ring. Hi, Carol. And, um, but there you go. Oh, hugs and kisses to you too, baby. 
But it was really good for my mom to just have somebody to talk to. And, you know, my aunt was not married. She did not have children. And, you know, so everything that she had, she left to her brothers and sisters. And everything's in probate right now. But my mom is so, she feels so guilty. You know, she's like, I don't want any of that. I want my sister back. And which is a normal, completely normal response. You know. But I'm glad that my Aunt Clara is back in the UP. You are, Carol? Oh, how nice. What time are you guys starting? Because um, Anthony and, and Nate and I are doing an auction at 4 on Pittsburgh's channel. And it's going to be all different kinds of things. It'll be clothing lots and plush lots. And I've got a purse lot, a couple purse lots that I'm going to be doing. So... Yeah, I'll be doing a couple of purse lots and, you know, different things. So, we're doing that at four. So, yours is at seven. So, that's perfect. That's like perfect timing. So, we can go from this... Go from this auction to that auction to your auction. It'll be fun. I might be so exhausted, though. I'll have to watch you guys from bed. I got a lot of sleep last night, so that's a good thing. I got this gorgeous turquoise pendant. I got it for myself, but I don't know if I should sell <clears throat> sell it or not. I got that ring for myself, but I want to sell that too because it's so beautiful. I want to offer it to you guys. But we'll see. We shall see. What's everybody doing today? So, I've gotten in trouble already. The first thing my husband said to me this morning, I got in trouble for my October 30th haircut appointment when I cut my hair really short. He says, what's this tippy? And I'm like, that is the tip when you go get your hair done. You do the tip separate. So you pay for the cut. He's like, okay, $18.95 for the cut. Yeah. And then you do the tip separate. He's like, $10? You tip $10? So the tip is almost as much as the haircut. That's bull crap. You don't need to be tipping that much. Now, as you guys know, I've always cut my own hair. Always, always, always. Since I was 13, I've always cut my own hair. Until I went and ha started having it cut. Um, I've had my hair cut three times now. And the first time I tipped $15... Um, the second time I tipped 10 and then last night or yesterday when I got it cut, I tipped 10. Now, if all my peeps in the chat could please tell me how much do you guys tip when you go to get a haircut?
Because I'm curious to know what you guys tip. Because I don't think $10 is a bad tip. I don't think it's excessive. You know, people that that work on tips work hard for their money. Oh, so usually five, but around Christmas, ten. So let me ask you this. Is that $5 worth a nasty argument? Is that $5 once a month worth a nasty argument? To make me feel like crap, like I did something wrong. Exactly. Hi, Anthony. I already pimped our auction. Everybody, everybody from here is going to go straight to your channel. I don't anticipate doing a four-hour auction, but they're all going to come to Pittsburgh after the auction to our four o'clock auction. And then after that, we're going to go to Dolly's for Dolly's seven o'clock auction. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. So, so maybe I am tipping too much then. But still, even if I tip, I don't know where my thing went. Even if I tip $5 instead of $10, or I mean, even if I tip $10 instead of $5, is that $5 worth a nasty argument? That's what I'm saying. In my head, no. Is that $5 a month? $5 a month. Um, is that worth degrading your wife? I don't think so. Five dollars a month. Right, I tip 20% across the board and sometimes 30% if we get good service. My husband knows I'm a good tipper. I used to be a waitress back in the 80s, right? And hi Tammy. And uh so here's the deal. I know what it's like to work your butt off. You know, I had three waitressing jobs at one time. To work your butt off. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Patty. Oh, nobody was taking that this year because of COVID. Nobody was taking locks of love this year because of COVID. So I couldn't do that. So, it is what it is. Do you guys want to see my new, my new pleasures? Is it not in here? Or did I leave it out? Oh, I left it out. All right, guys, you ready? This is my ring I got in. This is for me. See, it's got a couple chips in it. I like the chips, though. See that? That's what's underneath the turquoise. That's a crack. Very, very minute crack. It's a minute crack. This is for me. I don't care if it's got a little chip right there. Huh. 
Ha-ha! Except it's a little small. It's a thicker shank, so it's harder for me to get it off. If I go to take it off, I'm probably going to need... I'm going to need uh, soap. Hello, Gypsy Queen Anne. I didn't know that you were Anne until I sent your stuff out. Hi, Deborah. Yes, that is my thought exactly. Exactly, Deborah. If they are coloring. Yeah, well, it was just a haircut. I mean, just, uh, and she did exactly what I wanted. I wanted my hair super short. Um, as short as I could go without it being a buzz cut. Because then now maybe I can go six weeks in between a haircut. You know what I mean? Instead of a month. So, hopefully, I don't know, I just... It's like if it doesn't concern him, it's not worth it. You know, like a, he, he bitches at me what I give for restaurant tips, too. Some people are just more giving than others. I'm not saying he's a bad guy. I'm just saying that he hates when I tip. Or, I mean, not hates when I tip, but. If I tip a lot. You guys want to see my other ring? When you saw the no, the picture for my auction today, did you guys see the ring that was in the picture? Or you just got the notification and you logged on? We're going to start here in a minute, guys. I'm just cleaning this really long chain for you guys. Because I got home so late from my mom's last night that I had so many errands to run yesterday. I had to pick up jewelry. I had to... Go to my mom's. I had to go to the bank. I had to. I had to do a lot. And are you guys ready for this one? I wore this one all day yesterday. As soon as I picked it up, as soon as I got it, I wore it. This is Bally style. What do we think of this one? <laughs> yes, baby. Yes, baby. Yes. Another ring I got for myself. But, if I'm keeping this one, then I feel like I should sell this one. But, I paid so way up for these because I bought them for myself way up let me turn my little fan on because I'm getting hot
Yeah, exactly. I did. Except I can't get this to stand up. It's all right. It will. It's just not used to. It's just not used to standing up. Hi, Deborah. Oh, wait, I said hi to you already. Hi, Patty. I'm just going to sit like this, and then maybe it'll stand up. All right. Uh, oh, I'll show you another ring I got. It's really dirty, but I got this to practice. There should be two of them. Yeah, here's this one. This one wasn't supposed to be cracked. This one. This one wasn't supposed to be missing this piece. It wasn't supposed to be missing a piece, but it is. But that's going to be a practice ring. And this one I got for myself. See how it's missing the coral? Well, I have all that stuff. So these are going to be rings for me to practice on. Hey, Johnny. Hi, Jude. Yay. Yeah, all of that stuff got sent out Thursday. And you know what? My mail person didn't even, didn't even stop to pick it up. They skipped it. They did not pick up at my door like they were supposed to. So, I had to take them down to the post office and file a complaint because... I was not happy about that at all. I, there, you know, I have porch pickup for a reason, and that reason is because my mail gets stolen out of my mailbox. I've got a really long driveway, and they're not, I'm getting a pimple here, I know I am. Um, they're not going to come down my driveway to steal it off the the porch because my driveway is too long. All right, y'all. These chains are exactly the same size. Okay. I have a combo that I'm going to do first. This is so cute. And one of my people I went to pick up jewelry at yesterday said she was going to be home. And she was not home. So I got there. And there was nobody home. And she never answered my call. And so I didn't get to pick up all my jewelry. Yeah, I always do that. All right. This necklace measures 16 inches. And it has a matching bracelet. I always put my poly bags by size. Always, always, always. Seven and a quarter inches. I'm going to show you the bracelet first. I'm going to do them together because you can lock these together and do a longer necklace if you want.
because the chain is the same size. And they are both lobster claw clasps. They are both a solid box chain. See that? It's a box chain, but it's solid. And like Dolly and I were telling you guys last week that a solid box chain rocks, rocks the Casbah. And then in this bracelet, you have got two interlinking hearts. They are sterling silver. The bracelet's seven and a quarter. Here's the clasp on the necklace, the same beautiful box chain. And here's the linking hearts on the necklace. The necklace is 16 inches. So if you were to put them together, it would be 23 inches, 23 and a quarter. And I'll just show you what it would look like. If This is what I would do with this. I would put it together. I love when you have a bracelet and a necklace that you can put together to make longer. So here's the heart side by side. So the hearts are different sizes, of course. But this box chain is so strong and thick. Like here's a, well, this is a small box chain, but I'll show you the difference in thickness. See the difference in thickness? Okay. This is like a box chain on steroids. So you will get the necklace and you will get the bracelet. And I will do, tw I will start, we're going to start at $22 for both. If anybody's interested in these. They're super cute. They're perfect as Christmas gifts. Look how sparkly that is. Very, very sparkly. I love these. It's just... It's just quality. There, there's weight to them. Even the hearts. The hearts are thick sterling silver. They're not flimsy. Hang on. They're not flimsy. You can see how thick they are. So cute. Let me unhook them. These are really cute. I really like these. There's the bracelet. Hi, Cheryl. It's a bracelet and a necklace. The bracelet right here is seven and a quarter inches. It's a solid box chain. Hang on. Okay, I can't find my sweet spot. There we go. Solid box chain, so it's super thick. And then the necklace is 16 inches. The chains are the exact same size. So you can hook them together to make a 23 and a quarter inch necklace if you wanted to. And you could have, it's $22 starting bid. And you can have the smaller hearts on one side, the larger hearts on the other side. If you wanted to hook them together. Or you can wear them as a necklace and a bracelet. Or your daughter can wear them as a necklace and a bracelet. 
The necklace is 16 inches. The bracelet is seven and a quarter. Cheryl's in at 22, Patty. She just beat you. Can you come in at 24, honey? She just beat you. Here's the necklace. So cute. Patty's in at 24. Very, very shiny. Very beautiful. Very high quality. And there's that really thick box chain. I'll show you a difference between, oh, here's a, here's a standard box chain. This is actually a little big for a box chain, but I'll show you this one next to the solid. Patty's in at 24. Do I see 26? So this is a large box chain. This is the solid box chain. We're going to go once to Patty at 24. Cheryl's in at 26. Thank you, Cheryl. They've got super nice lobster claw clasps on them. It's like I've said before, when you pick something up and it's just it's just quality you can tell it's quality patty's in at 28 do i see 30 we're going to go once to patty at 28 and Cheryl's in at 30 thank you Cheryl We'll go once to Cheryl at 30, pending a $32 bid. Come on. Patty is out. We're going to go twice to Cheryl at 30. I love having no hair. It's hard to explain. We're going to go fair warning to Cheryl at 30. Where's all my boxes? Oh, no. They all fell out. And that is sold to Cheryl for $30. Congratulations, Cheryl. Let's see how well this fits. Oh, it fits just nice. Congratulations, Cheryl. Oh, geez. I don't even have all my stuff done here. All right. I think I have an envelope for you. Let's see, I still have Dolly's, Shirley's, Manji's, Sharon, I got yours. Those don't go in there. Brenda, I guess I don't. Verna. All right, I'll start you a new envelope. Congratulations, Johnny, for your first Bonanza sale. It's always exciting when you get your first one. And it automatically takes it off of eBay, too, if you've cross-posted it. Which Macari doesn't do.
Thank you, Cheryl. That's really nice. It's really nice quality. Okay. Let's do this ring. I should move these over here, shouldn't I? I've got boxes, jewelry boxes sitting everywhere. On the chains. I sold a lot of my longer chains. Wednesday. Okay. So this is six. A six, six and a quarter. And you better start focusing. Good camera. Really pretty filigree design. Goes from the shank. Now the th the shank is a little thicker. It is just under a quarter of an inch, and then of course goes up to be much larger in the front. But it's so cute, so 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 cute. I will start this at eighteen dollars. It's a six, six and a half, right around in there. Cheryl, you're going to be so happy when you get that and feel the quality of it. It's really heavy duty. It's, it's beautiful. It's really, really nice. What are you doing? Stop doing that. Do I have an opening bid of 18 for this ring? <laughs> you mean this turquoise ring or this turquoise ring? Which one? This is the one that's got a crack, but you can barely feel it. I mean, you got to really get in there to feel it. And this is a chip right here, but I love it. These are the two rings I bought for myself. Yeah, I bought this for myself. Um, we'll talk about it, Cheryl. Let me think about it, because I bought it for myself. And I paid way up for this. So, we'll see. We'll see. Do I have an $18 opening bid for this? Okay. I like that ring. All right, let's do these earrings. These earrings are so cute. They're big, though. They're hungers. They measure two inches long. And just over an inch and a quarter wide. Oh, no. Where's my thing? There it is. All right. These are beautiful. Can you see the size of these? Two inches long, an inch and a half 
or an inch and a quarter wide. And I will start these at 15. These are absolutely, I mean, they are nice quality. They're not like, okay, I'm doing this and it's not bending. Okay. It's, yeah, it's, I would have to, I'd have to start this high. Um, just because of what I paid for it. Not to say I won't, but I'd, I'd like to enjoy it for a little bit. So this is what these look like. Do I have an opening bit of 15? I like these. Only I could wear earrings. Hang on. Sorry. All right. Let's do these ones. These are cute. These measure three quarters of an inch by a little over half of an inch tall. And I'll start these at 10. These are adorable. I know. Right, Cheryl? These are super cute. Sterling. Do I have a $10 opening bid for these? Patty is in at 10. We'll go once to Patty for 10. Do I see 11? These are super cute. Super cute. We'll go twice to Patty for $10. Fair warning. I don't know what our lag looks like today. And those are sold to Patty. Congratulations, Patty. Always have to double look and see which Patty I have. You are welcome. All right. OK, 
Okay, I've got a set for you. It is onyx and sterling silver. Like you've never seen before. Or that I've offered before. So adorable. All right. So it is earrings and a necklace. So here's the earrings. And they've got the sterling silver all wrapped around them. They're in a heart. And if you look at the back here, I knew that wasn't going to work. Here's the front. I'll give you a close-up. You know, they're dusty. <sighs> Here's the back. Here's the necklace. The front. Come on. In the back and it's on a 18 inch snake chain with a spring ring clasp and I will start both the earrings and the necklace at 25 and you'll get both the earrings and the necklace. And it is onyx and sterling silver. This has some weight to it, but it's not uh, it's not super heavy. It is pretty, Cheryl. It's gorgeous. There's the pendant. It's on an 18 inch snake chain. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Love it. Love it. Whoopsies. And the earrings, even though they're they're onyx, they're not very heavy. They're not too heavy at all. Isn't that cute? And the sterling silver just wraps all the way around one single piece. And there's your hallmark. Let me hang these up. What's everybody feel like seeing today? I have a couple long chains. I have got this chain, you guys, that it's like, I want to call it my Game of Thrones chain because it's so gorgeous. Not today, Sharon. I'm working on it for you, though. Believe me when I say I'm working on it for you, okay? I am. I'm trying to get it for you, baby. All right. Y'all want to see my Game of Thrones chain? I call it Game of Thrones because...
It is 24 inches long. It came with this castle pendant. And I'm going to put the pendant back on because I took them apart to clean them. So the chain's 24 inches. Here's your clasp. That is your clasp. Here's your chain. It's hollow. Each link is hollow. So it's not overly heavy. And here's the castle pendant that came on it. It is all sterling silver. Here's the back. Let me see what it says. Sterling. It's clearly artisan. H O N. Oh, Sonia. H O N I A. So it must have been made by a woman. Look at the the bail on this. It's got a it's got a cross on it. Come on. A nice thick sturdy bail. Okay. I will start this. Let's see 24 inch. I will start this at $30. That's what I would normally start the chain at. A chain, the chains. At, I should ask more for the chain, but I'll do. I'll start thirty for both of them. If you've got those larger, heavier pendants, this would be the chain to use on those. This is a gorgeous chain, absolutely gorgeous. So easy to put on and off. Love it. Love it. Let me show you what it would look like on a regular pendant. Oh, you know what, Jude? It might be a church. It is a church. Jude, you're so smart. It's church. Well, I guess it's not my Game of Thrones now, is it? Yeah, it's a church. Not not quite as bad, bad as Game of Thrones, but you know how it is. Let me put a regular pendant. Thelma's in at 30. This is what I would... I would wear this pendant with this chain. Well, not now because Thelma bid, but... Because this shank, or shank, this uh, bail is large. And this is a large pendant. This is what... The late, great Kim Webster gave to me this pendant. And it looks beautiful on a regular pendant. Hi, Mona. Hey, Mona. Um, that lot that I bought from your auction. Don't forget about me. I know you haven't been feeling good, though. I know you have not been feeling well, so I'm not that worried about it, but Thelma's in at 30. We're going to go once to Thelma. Oh, 
Sharon's in at 32. Thelma's in at 34. Do I see 36? This is an incredible chain, you guys. When you get this, you're going to be like, wow. Yeah, Jason Momoa. He wouldn't be leaving my house. I have a picture of him as Aquaman on my wall over there. Yeah, Jason Momoa came with it. He wouldn't be leaving my house. This is a gorgeous chain, guys. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Sharon's in at 36. Thelma's in at 38. Do I see 40? I like this chain. Like it, like it, like it. We're going to go once to Thelma at 38. Sharon is out. So we will go twice to Thelma at 38. And we'll look something up really quick. Fair warning. And that is sold to Thelma for $38. Congratulations. Let me look your package up, Thelma. Awesome, Johnny. Okay, so there's November 23rd. Let's see. Hi, Verna. No, you're fine. Uh, what's the tracking? Let's check the tracking on this. You're welcome. I'll keep the chain if you don't want the chain. Because I love the chain. I had... Okay, Thelma. It says... Delivered November 27th. Let me check the other one. Let me check this last one. From November 27th. Okay, hang on. That's the one I'm checking right now. Now, I had a mail guy take everything out of my basket. Not scan anything. I was telling Myra this. Not scan anything. And um, he just threw it all in the truck. He didn't scan anything. <laughs> oh, 
Thelma. I bought that chain. Thank you very much. Expected delivery by Saturday the 5th. Oh, FedEx just left. More, more mail. My son orders stuff all the time. All right. Um, no, that I refunded back to you. I refunded that back to you and sent it. It should be delivered today. So it says expected delivery Saturday the 5th. So you should get it today. And that was from the 27th. So eight days ago. All right. Let me put this away. So goodbye on that, Thelma. Can you guys hear my husband hollering at the TV? The mail is running really, really super slow right now. And I can only gather it's because it's Christmas. Verna, did you see my rings? I don't think you were here. I'm debating whether I should sell this one today or not. <clears throat> yes, I I will give somebody free shipping and then forget. In well, you didn't get free shipping. What it was was the, the Friday after Thanksgiving, I didn't do, I didn't ship anything the Friday after Thanksgiving because we missed a day anyway, so I held everything till Saturday. So nothing got shipped from last Wednesday's auction. I held it all until Saturday, so it didn't actually go out until Monday. And then the, the dude never even scanned it, so... All right, congratulations on that, Thelma. That's gorgeous. All right, guys, I have got some absolutely gorgeous earrings. These are an inch and a half long and half an inch wide. They are spiderweb turquoise. Verna says she got my bangles in that lovely poppy jasper pendant. Gorgeous. Verna, was I not right? That poppy jasper is breathtaking. It it's it's even more pretty in person than it was on the on the camera, right? Gorgeous, right? I, I'm telling you guys, like, Cheryl, when you get that necklace and that bracelet and you feel it, you're going to be like, wow, this is quality. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. This is what they look like on. They have got coral and spiderweb turquoise. I'm going to start these at 20. These are absolutely gorgeous. I don't know why they're sitting at different, different heights. Mm. 
Yep, first piece you've ever, first piece I've ever seen. There we go. I wonder if these hooks are uneven. I didn't notice this before. Let me look. It's my auction. I can look if I want to. Okay, so the hooks, the hooks are off, but I can fix that. So the hooks are bent. I mean, they're perfectly bent, but one's bent a little higher than the other one. All right. So spiderweb turquoise and coral sterling silver earrings. Do I have an opening bid of $20 on these? These are so gorgeous. They would make the perfect gift. And of course, they've got little silver balls. Little silver balls. What does mama love? Little silver balls. Verna, I was so close to not even, so close to not even selling that puppy Jasper pendant. You have no idea. Look how gorgeous these are, guys. No interest. You don't get mail on Saturday, Cheryl? Huh. Well, that is unfortunate. That's not the word I was going to use, but I love these turquoise earrings. What would happen if I just wore them? Tell me these shouldn't be mine. Look at my fat earlobes. And these look great on me. But. I can't keep them. Alright guys. Maybe my. My. Uh professional experts that I have in my my chat will help me with this. I wasn't going to put this up today, but Jude and Thelma, maybe you guys can help me out and tell me what this might be. I haven't had a chance to research it because I got back so late from my mom's house. I had to process everything just to make sure everything was sterling. This looks like a, I mean, it's, it's shiny, glossy, like an, an opal. It might just, but it's, it's hard. It's hard like a, like a glass or like a stone. Can you see the, the glittering in there? Have you guys ever seen an opal that looks like this? They're stones. They're not resin. I've never seen an opal look like that. Yeah, moonstone I'm not an expert in. Hi, Crystal. Well, whatever this is, I am going to start this at $22 for 
for the pendant. Let me see how how long the pendant is. With the bail, it's two and an eight inches. Without the bail, it is one and three quarters inches long. What I started at? Oh, I'll just start it at 20. 22? Well, whatever. Tammy's in at 22. That must have been what I started at. Do I see 24? How's my grandson, Crystal? We're going to go once to Tammy at 22. We're going to go twice to Tammy at 22. Yes, I know. He's at that age, baby. He's at that age where he's turning into a man. Fair warning. Did I hear you say fair warning? And that's sold to Tammy for 22. Congratulations, honey. Okay. This chain is 18 inches long. It's got a really unique veil to it. You're welcome, baby. It is spring clasp. It's a box chain. It could use a good wipe down. 18 inches, but it has got a Celtic pendant that curves. Can you guys see the curt? Hang on. Can you guys see it curves? It like curves to the back. And look at the look at the bail. Look how interesting this bail is. Isn't that cool? I think that is so cool. I will start this at $20. 18 inch chain, box chain. Here's the back. Sterling silver. There's the hallmark there. Gorgeous Celtic triangle. And it's got a heart. It's like the outer is triangle, and then it's got a heart in the middle. Do I have a $20 opening bid? So cute. I love Celtic designs. I cannot tell a lie. <clears throat> well, I probably could, but I wouldn't feel very good about myself if I even put, got to pull it off. Not very good at lying. Kathy's in at 20. Thank you, Kathy. Oh, man. 
I put my coffee down right on top of my Purell and it squirted all on the computer screen. I feel like you're all are toddlers and I've got to wipe your mouth. Hi, Glenn. How are you, hon? We're going to go once to Kathy at 20. Do I see 22? Isn't that bail interesting, Kathy? We'll go twice. Good to see you, Kathy. I have it on backwards. Fair warning. It's very nice, Kathy. It's cute. I like it. Of course, I went to bought it. And that is sold to Kathy. Woohoo! All right, you guys. I think everybody. has mentioned or commented here's the thing if i were to sell this okay green turquoise coral 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 on the side i would have to start it at a hundred. So it's one of those pieces. There's no markings on the back. It's Bally, but there's, there's no markings on it. And I love it. But if I were going to part with it, I'd have to start it at a hundred. I just I just would have to. It why did I do that? <sighs> Kathy is in at a hundred. I do it to myself every time. <laughs> do I have 110? It's beautiful, Kathy. You will love it. Your little fingers, you'll be able to wear it on your middle finger. Let me show you the... If I can, if we can get a look in there. Oh, was there a mark right there? Oh, hang on, Cheryl. I don't know what size it is. It's an eight and a half. It is an eight and a half. And as far as length, it is, it measures one and almost three quarters inches long. It's in between, right in between one and a half inches and one and three quarters inches. I don't know if I should put it back on. It's not mine anymore. But it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Just look at the detail. I love these. Cheryl's in at 110. I love these right here. I love that detail right there. And the coral is absolutely gorgeous. 
And then you've got this detailing right here too. Kathy's in at 150. Do I see 160? This is, I think, the most beautiful ring that I have ever seen. And I love the green turquoise. Love it. Cheryl is out. We're going to go once to Kathy for 150. It's beautiful, Kathy. You're going to love it. Or you're going to love the money you're going to make off of it. Going twice to Kathy. I still have this one. So. Fair warning. Kathy, my beautiful, beautiful friend, inside and out, it is yours for 150 and I'm so happy for you. It is gorgeous, my love. It is gorgeous. You are going to love it. Or whoever you... I don't know if I can do that, Kathy. Baby, that is so generous. Y'all just mail it back to me. Um... I have to get better about this. I have to get better about this. Thank you, Kathy. I mean, I knew I was gonna. I would eventually put it up because I always do. But now I never have to. <sighs> well, here's the thing, Carol. I don't have followers. I have friends. And you guys, you guys all know that. This is why I hit you up. I call you. Oh, Crystal, thank you. <sighs> okay. I, Kathy, thank you. Thank you. I accept. I accept it. <laughs> thank you. 
Thank you. I, I struggle really hard with am I doing what the Lord would want me to do? Am I being who the Lord would want me to be? Am I putting out what the Lord would want me to put out? And the one thing that I have to give to this world is love. It's the one thing that I have. And it's, and it's the one thing that bleeds from me is love. That's what, that's what I have. And so that's what I try and give. And Oh, Cheryl. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for giving me so many wonderful friends. Cheryl, thank you. You know what? This is my attitude right now. And my attitude is this. And I'm going to say this because... Anthony has been working on me. I am worthy. And I accept your gift. That's that's a big deal for me right there. To say that, that's a big deal for me right there. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy. The love that you show me is incredible. But okay. Um, all right. Thank you, baby girl. I just don't ever know how to move on from something like that. I love you too, Dolly. I love all you guys. You guys are all so sweet. I'm just I'm just not used to so much love being thrown back at me is all. And I need to I need to get used to that. Okay, this is two almost two and a half inches long. And I'm going to call you later, Kathy. And a half of an inch wide. And these are so gorgeous. Now, I love you too. I love you too. You guys don't, you can't. My mom asked me last night when I was at her house why I kept kissing this ring. I was like, she says, why are you kissing that ring? And I said, because I've never bought myself anything this nice before. I've never paid. I've never allowed myself to spend as much money on myself, you know, to buy myself something so beautiful. This is the first time that I, I had done that. And so I, I kiss it because <laughs> I'm so appreciative of it. And now I kiss it because it's love from my friend. Okay. So I have got these drop earrings. There's the French hook. That's how it hooks on. These need these could these could use a bath, but okay. Here's what the settings are, and they're gorgeous. This is citrine. It's a dark citrine. Amethyst. These are peridot on either side. Citrine. The standard color citrine that you would see. And amethyst. So, with each earring, you are getting six 
gemstones in each earring. And they are gorgeous. I will start these, guys. I will start these at 25. So this is what they would look like on as far as size. This needs cleaned. These need cleaned. I have to clean these before I send them out. Oh, Cheryl, thank you. Tammy's in at 25. Thank you, baby. I'm gonna, Tammy. Do you mind if I clean these before I send them to you, or do you want to clean them when you get them? The other one's got some. Yes, they're gorgeous. Do I see twenty-seven? Hi, Jennifer Hayes. Jennifer Hayes, I was supposed to be part of that auction. And I was supposed to sing. They wanted me to sing. And I totally forgot about it, honey. I'm so sorry. I had the worst migraine that day. And I totally, I spent the entire day in bed. And I totally forgot about it, sweetie pie. I'm so sorry. I wanted to participate in it. And I didn't. No, here's the other one, the, the one that needs clean. See the stuff on the inside? What it is is somebody tried to clean it, and they didn't get the cleaner out of it. We're going to go fair warning to Tammy for 25 It comes right out with a pen. I forgot about that, or I would have did it before. But okay, I'll leave it. And those are sold to Kathy for 25 Congratulations. Or Kathy. Tammy for 25 And I still have these. These turquoise with coral. I still have those available. I will clean them before they go. All right, Tam. Congratulations, baby. Kathy, I wonder... Because this is a gift and to avoid taxes, if you friends and family me the 150, that way it's not subject to taxes. And then I wouldn't even have to send you an invoice. Thank you, baby. Oh, let me put my regular email in here for you. It should still work with Hip Flip and Mama, but let me put my my personal email in here. It's just Kelly Haggard 9 at Yahoo. 9 was my son's baseball number. So that's why that's 9. Thank you, Tammy. All right. Oh, let's do this cute little ring. Oh, this is a cute little ring. Perfect for gifts. What does that seem... Odd. My eyes aren't working very good today. This needs cleaned. Mm. 
Now I want to clean that. All right, this is a size eight and a quarter. Just a simple band. Two, come on. A Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Thanks, Kathy. I love you, baby. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful flower. Why am I getting a glare? There we go. I don't think there was supposed to be oxidization on, on all of these petals. That's just normal patina. But look at the silver balls. Look at the silver balls. I just love silver balls. This is an eight and a quarter, Kathy. Let me see if I can get this one off. This one's got a little tiny crack. But I didn't care. Because I bought that one for myself, too. I know. What was I thinking that day? I might need, this is not, this is a size too small for me. So let me, I know, gross. I can't get it off. I can't take it off. Take it off. I can't, I can't take it off. Uh, any of my TikTok, TikTokers know what I'm talking about can't take it off it's so comfortable on um, but I can't take it off I have to have my back to you let's put some goof off on there hey Doug oh god I can't get it off It went on and off, no problem, last night. I put it on, I took it off. I put it on, I took it off. There we go. Woo! I must be retaining water today. <clears throat> I feel like the richest girl in the world today. It has nothing to do with gifts. It's all about love. It's eight and a quarter. Now, this is a light ring. This setting is thinner. So you can see the thinness of the, the setting there. Very lightweight. It's an eight and a quarter. And I will start this at 20. So cute. So cute. I'm sure she would. It's adorable, Kathy. Kathy's in at 20. Now, this is like heavy duty, okay? This ring is, is thick, heavy duty ring, all right? This ring is a thinner setting. It's not going to bend or anything like that. It's it's solid, but it's not big and bulky like a lot of settings that you come across with, with turquoise. We're going to go once to Kathy at 20, pending a $22 bid. Well, you know, Cheryl, I had this sitting here, you know, I have this for, you know, my eBay business and, and it worked great. We're going to go fair warning to Kathy at 20.
I know I skipped going twice, but. And that is sold to Kathy for $20. I don't think I showed you the back, did I, Kath? There's the back. I don't see a mark. Oh, there it is. I'll show you. Mom's going to love it. Oh, it's Mexican silver. Okay. Let me read it. I ain't got to worry about messing up this hair. Mexico 925 and then it's symbols. C-17 must be the maker mark. The artisan who made it. Yeah, it's beautiful, Kath. Your mom, you are spoiling your mom terrible. She is going to have a happy Merry Christmas to her. All right. This ring is adorable. It is so adorable. We haven't done trivia yet, guys. we got to do trivia. Yeah, I'm sure she does, baby. I have no doubt that she does. Okay, this ring, I need to order just a plain round mandrel because if I want to shape a ring, it takes longer. I mean, it's already round, but. So this is a size five. Oh, Kathy, I love you. Okay, so this is a size five. It's just above the five so four and in three quarters and quarters and quarters and quarters so it's just above the five but it is so cute look at that isn't that adorable the most adorable little turquoise in there but look at the setting and the ring Isn't that adorable? I will start this at 15. This is so cute. Would be would make a perfect gift for one of your daughters or your son's girlfriend for Christmas. It is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So that doesn't even fit a pinky ring for me. There's the mark. Adorable, cute little ring. It's got a lot of detail for being a small little ring. Beautiful, 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 beautiful angel. All right, I've got this ring. We should do trivia. I haven't done trivia yet. I have this turquoise pendant, too. Ooh. Okay. We're not going to do trivia about me because you guys know all those answers. Okay. Ha, ha, ha.
Uh, the best 250 plus trivia questions with answers. We don't want sports trivia. Ooh, which boxer was known as the greatest in the people's champion, Muhammad Ali? I don't even have to look. Mm. I did that one before. Here's a good one. Who was the first woman, and I'm and I'm timing these so that people can't Google. <laughs> Who was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize in 1903? Go. Thanks, Crystal. The first woman to win a Nobel Prize in 1903. Okay, I'll do a different one. The answer was, everybody stop typing. I'll tell you the answer. That question's over. I like these earrings. But look how red my ears are. Well, that one doesn't look too red. This one's really red. The answer was Marie Curie. Correct, Glenn. Marie Curie. That is correct. Okay, here's a good one. You should all know this one. All right. You should all know this one. What is meteorolo meteor meteorology? What is meteorology the study of? Go. Glenn gets free shipping if you buy something. What is meteorology... The study of weather. Kathy got it. I'm not going to count Kathy. Because Kathy, I was giving you free shipping anyway. So I will give a shipping discount to Sharon, the second in the group. So Sharon, who is an international, male-wise, it's considered international, you will get a shipping discount, and Kathy gets free shipping, because I wasn't going to charge you shipping anyway. And... Okay. Let's do another one. Which natural disaster is measured with a Richter scale? Go. Which natural disaster is measured with a Richter scale? Go. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Yes. Anthony and, and um, Nathan and I are doing a Christmas auction today at 4 p.m. I'm not auctioning off any Christmas items, but I will be auctioning off purses, um, some wallets, some clothing lots, things like that. Crystal got it first. Earthquake. Earthquake. All right, Crystal, let me get an envelope for you and put free shipping on it. Go. 
Good job. All right, one more. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's a good one. The question was, uh, what natural disaster is measured by the Richter scale? And it was earthquake. All right, which animal, which animal can be seen on the Porsche logo? Go. You missed quite a bit, Deb, but I'll do that ring for you. Kathy got it right. A horse. It's horse. We'll do one more just because I'm having fun. What is... What is the common name... For dried plums, go. What's the common name for dried plums? So once you dry a plum, what's it called? I love them so much. Prune, yep. Crystal got it. Okay, which country produces the most coffee in the world? Go. Which country produces the most coffee in the world? Which coffee produces the most? Sharon got it. Okay. You got it, Sharon. But you already got a discount. All right. We're going to go back. We're going to go back to it. All right. Guys, I have got a 27 and a quarter, 27 and a quarter inch snake chain. Hello to all my gals that like their long chains. Lobster claw clasp. This is a thick chain, guys. It's an eighth, eighth of an inch thick. No, Crystal, you can find all that coffee at my house. Hang on, Deb, and I'll pull, I'll pull that ring up for you. Beautiful. Snake chain. Sure, Sharon. Here's the snake chain. We're going to start this at $30. It's where, it's, it's where I start my long chains, 30 bucks. And look how thick this one is. This is a perfect chain, guys. To put a big pendant on, like the one that my blessed, beautiful friend Kim Webster gifted me with. Patty's in at 30. This is a gorgeous chain, you guys. It's perfect for the larger pendant or the pendant that you have that's got, you know, a larger bail to it. This looks perfect on a large pendant. Look how beautiful that looks. Instead of, you know, a lot of the chains are smaller and they're petite 
and then you have a big striking pendant and what do you wear with that a thicker chain so this is perfect for that this is a large snake you guys this is not an average snake you don't get the pendant patty sorry I will show you an, a normal snake chain. And then I will show you this snake chain. Okay. Hang on. This has got a thing on it. So here's a normal snake chain. And here's this snake chain. Do you see the difference? This is a monster snake chain. You are getting a lot of silver with this. We're going to go once to Patty at 30. Again, it's 27 inches. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Yeah, I've just got the hair cut like super short just last night it's hair it'll grow we're gonna go fair warning to patty at 30 patty you're gonna love this this is the epitome of quality here this is a nice chain baby girl so snaky you know what i'm talking about like you want to play with it and it is sold a patty for 30 dollars congratulations baby and this coils so nicely that i'm going to be able to put it in a normal bag thank you kathy you know i was worried because i got this big chin right here a big double chin. I was really worried, but my husband wants me to grow it long again. Guess what I said to that? It'll never be long again. It's going to be short the rest of my life. Debbie, I nobody bought these. I put them up. Nobody bought them. So I put them on because I love them. But look how red this ear is. All right. I forgot who bought these. Patty did. Patty can't. I always have to be really careful with my patties. So, yeah, the Christmas auction is over on Pittsburgh's channel. And whenever my boys have an auction... You know, I always call it, whenever the boys have an auction, I always call it, but I'm actually going to have some things in there today too, so, but it's on Pittsburgh's channel. I thought, what the hell, I'll throw some stuff in there. Congratulations, Patty. Okay, Deborah, you want to see that ring? And then I got to show you this other ring. So this is in between a six and a six and a quarter. It's, I will say it's six and a quarter. And I showed this a little bit earlier. But I will start this at 20. I'm not flipping anybody off. You're welcome, baby. It is very feminine, like it doesn't belong on my finger at all. There's the side. Kathy's in at 20. There's the other side. I showed this earlier. I'll go over real quick what didn't sell, what you missed. Super pretty. 
super, super pretty. Very, very flattering. Nope, you gotta go 22, Deb. $2 increments after 20. So Kathy's in at 20. I would need a $22 bid, Deb. It's gorgeous. Thank you, Jennifer. It's really pretty. And Debbie's in at 22. Oops, that's wrong ring. Debbie's in at 22. Do I see 24? Oh, it's got a little dent in it. Right there. On the top. You see it right there? A little bing. You can retract if you want to. Kathy's in at 24. Hi, Nate. What's up, baby? This is really cute in that if you look down here, it's got detailing on the leaves right here. We're going to go once to Kathy at 24. I think that's really special. Twice to Kathy at 24. Uh, well, Dolly, you know, that's what happens with boys. Oh, okay. Thank you. And this is sold to Kathy for $24. Thank you, Kathy. You know, my bed was feeling good too, Nate. Thank you, Kathy. But I had to get up because I had work to do. And then after this, I got to get my stuff ready for the 4 o'clock. Mama! All right, guys, we got a ring and we got a turquoise pendant, okay? Kathy, that ring is really pretty. It is super pretty. You're going to love it. And you'll never see that ding. I didn't even notice it until it was under the camera. Yeah, Nate, you can't get your stuff together during the auction. You got to do it before. All right, guys. Now, this is turquoise, which means I left the patina on it. I wiped it down with a cloth, but I left the patina on it. Well, I'm sure glad you are feeling better, Kathy. This pendant has such a rustic feel to it. It's what drew me to it. And this is one and a quarter inch long, not, count, not counting the bale. If you count the bale, it is one, no, it's one and three quarters inch long with the bale. One and a quarter inches long. You're welcome, baby. One and a quarter inches long without the bale. But here she be. She still got her patina, guys. Now, this is a larger bale. You can wear any chain you want with this. But in my opinion, larger bales, larger chains look good. But this isn't that large of a pendant. So, here's the back. I am going to start this at $25. And there's the beautiful turquoise in the back. This is what it looks like. That almost went in the boobies. So this is what it would look like with a chain. 
absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to be able to just... Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. So that's the size. Let me put it back up on here. What did I start this at? 25? Do I have any opening bids for 25? Come on. It's really pretty. There's a side view. Focus on this, please. Thank you. All the patina is there. Here's a view of the back. Nine two five. Of course, I tested it. And I'll put this back. That is so pretty. I love that. And it feels, I don't know if you can see, but it feels uneven. It's rough. It, it's rough feeling. It's rustic feeling. It's, it's not polished smooth. See, there's a pit right there. There you go. You can see it's more, it's a rustic. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. In my opinion, that's one of my favorite ways for turquoise to be. And a pendant. In a ring, I, I kind of am fond of poli I'm fond of polished, but all right. Before we end this for the day, let's do a couple more pieces. Six size six and a half. And this is just a uh, a band with squigglies all the way around with a hammered texture to it. I'll start this at $13. And it's got the same design all the way around. It's so super cute. Kathy's in at 13. This is my love gift from Kathy. I love you, Kathy. We'll go once to Kathy at 13, pending a $14 bid. Going twice to Kathy at 13. It is really pretty. And that is sold to Kathy for 13. Thank you, Kathy. Today is the day of rings for you, baby. That's for you. Oh, I love it. All right, guys, I've got another whopper for you. I've got, oh, Sharon. Was it the was it these that you were talking about, Sharon? Earlier? Was it these? Oh. Oh. 
Okay. Crystal, you need to have a ring sizer. You can find them online um, and then cut it out, but I don't find those to be that accurate. You're a smaller size. I'm guessing your little fingers are between five and a six, but no, I don't think so. The best thing for you to do is go into a jeweler and have them um tell you what size you are this is what they'll use they'll use one of these and they'll have you slip them on until you get the right size so this is what they'll use shoot as much as you and i send back and forth to each other i should send these to you and then you can just check your size and send them back If you don't want to go to a jeweler. Thank you, Sharon. Okay. This is... Uh, Oh, I need to show you something, Crystal. I'm going to show you something. Show you something. Let's do this one first. Nobody has seen this yet. I'm going to start this at 18. It's an 18 inch chain. It's a box chain. There's the clasp. Here's the chain. Beautiful box chain. And here's the pendant. You get two pendants. Let me see what this says. I'll, sh I'll read it in a minute. I got it on backwards. Hang on. Ugh. Itchy nose. I always have an itchy nose during auctions. So it's a heart with the the notes on it. And dag damn it. It's got the music. What is that? A cleft crystal told me. That's the back of it. I'll hold this up so you can see the front of it. There's the front of it. It's got a little heart on it. And the back says... It's caught in my ring. The back says, Life is a song. Love is music. Life is a song. Love is music. I'm going to wipe it off here. No, because, well, it might be. Because I didn't used to do that before I started sanitizing the crap out of myself. That's a really good point. That's a really good point. It might be from all the sanitizer, Cheryl. Because you guys that have been with me a long time know that it didn't used to be like that. I didn't used to be all itchy. I'll bet you it is all the sanitizer. Well, I had a nurse tell me I'm sanitizing too much. I'm sanitizing my hands too much. She said, just do it during my auctions. My itchy nose. 
She's saying my itchy nose is. Okay, anyway. So we've got this 18-inch chain for $18 starting bid if anybody's interested. Oh, I did. I started I started using lotion. I did. Oh, Patty's in at 18. Crystal's in at 20. I started using lotion. I didn't put it on today, but I have started using lotion. And let me see if I can get a close-up. I'll wipe that down again. Life is a song. Love is music. Crystal has got the high bid at 20. We'll go once to Crystal for 20. So cute. If I'd have realized I had this crystal, I probably would have sent this to you with the other one, the other two. Patty, oh, Patty, it's got to be 22. And after 20, we go in $2 bids. Can you come in at 22? We'll go twice to Crystal for 20. Let me flip it over. Patty's in at 22. We'll go once to Patty at 22. Crystal's in at 24. Eighteen inch chain. We'll go once to Crystal for 24. Patty is out. Thank you for your bids, Patty. Thank you for letting me know you're out. Twice to Crystal at 24. We'll do fair warning. I just want to wipe this side down. Because I know you don't have this wonderful, never dull. Nope, Deb, I don't. And that is sold to Crystal for $24. Thank you, Crystal. Watermelon sugar high, watermelon sugar high, watermelon sugar high. All right. Thank you, Crystal. And Crystal got, you have an envelope because you got free shipping. All right. Let's see. Oh. Oh, oh. This will be the last thing we do today. Well, I could do these. No. This will be the last thing we do today. A pinky ring with turquoise. I have a pinky ring with lapis. I do have a pinky ring with turquoise. It's a five and three quarters. I 
Oh, Crystal. You talking about this one, Patty? What I start that at? 15? That's not it? <gasps> you fell in the parking lot? Oh, okay. Let me look. Oh, I probably hung it up. Yep, I got it. I got it right here. Dear Heavenly Father, I lift Sharon or Sandra up to you right now. I lift I lift everybody up to you. But um Lord Sandra just fell in the parking lot. She's got a head wound, Lord. She is on her way to seeking medical attention. Lord, please be with her. Please use your love and your guidance and protection. Wrap your arms around her, Lord. Place your hand upon her head and heal whatever injury that she has, Lord. Please let her feel no pain. Just let her heal. Feel the healing warmth of your touch, Lord. Let it be no serious injury. No, nothing requiring stitches, Lord. Nothing that is going to um, cause a concussion or any any issues down the line lord just be with her be with our sister in this moment lord and protect her in your name lord amen sandra you need to let me know later how you are sandra you need to go to the doctor I hope you're going to the doctor right now. No, I have these turquoise earrings, Sandra, that did not sell that, I, that I'm wearing. And I've got this turquoise ring I haven't shown yet. And I've got this turquoise ring that was just requested back. You're talking about this one, right? Patty, you're talking about this one? What did I start this at? Does anybody remember? I'll just start it at 12. This is a gorgeous ring. Gorgeous, gorgeous ring. It's four and three quarters or five, right around in there. Four and three quarters, five. So right now it's right on the five. Right in between four and three quarters and five. Patty's in at 15. Do I see 16? We're going to go once to Patty for 15. Yeah, it's, it's tiny. But it's gorgeous. It has got beautiful detail in it. Okay, Patty's in at 12. We'll go twice to Patty at 12. Fair warning. And that's sold to Patty. Congratulations, Patty. Okay, my last item of the day. This chain is... I'm going to take it off so I can properly measure it. All right, guys. Well, I guess I could do this ring, too. 
since I did the other one. So this is five and three quarters, almost six. in between and it is sleeping beauty turquoise and i'll start this one at 15 if anybody's interested split shank oh sandra i'll be praying for you all day honey All right, let's see how long this chain is. It is 32 and three quarters inches long. The pendant, we'll just say 32 inches. The pendant is one and three quarters of an inch long. And it is a pendant slash brooch, all sterling silver. This chain is a rope chain, but it's different. It's a textured, it's a textured rope. It twists, but it's textured. You'll see when I show it to you. It's got a large spring ring clasp on it. Hi, Denise. We're almost done, Denise. This is the last item. Here is the spring ring clasp. It's a larger spring ring clasp. Here is the chain. What did I say? 36. I don't even remember. 33 inches. 32 and a half, we'll say. Here's the chain. So it twists. So it's like a, a rope, but it's textured. Let me see if I can get a super close up. You see that? It is really, really cool, you guys. And then here's the pendant that goes with it. So again, it's 32 and a half inches. Here's the pendant. Gives you that little pinwheel in the middle. It is hollow on the inside. It's all sterling silver. And the back, you have the bail for a chain. And then you have... Come on. And then you have the pin here for the brooch. Markings are right here on the back of the bail. I don't know what that says. I will start this. Normally, I would start the chain, just the chain at 30. I will start both of these together at, for 45. So you can get both for 45. This says, does this say Turkish? Turkey. S925 Turkey. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. It is definitely a vintage piece. 32 and a half inches in the chain.
And then the pendant slash brooch is almost between an inch and a half and an inch and three quarters. Well, all right, guys, that is going to do it for today. I do have more pieces, but I have run out of time. So, don't forget, Pittsburgh's channel at 4 p.m., for another exciting auction. And thank you so much, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah. I love you so much. And Wednesday, I'll have even more beautifuls for you guys on Wednesday. And we will go from there. And I just want to thank Kathy again for your gift. I love you all so much. And Kathy, thank you so much. You will never know how deep in my heart you are, honey. I love you so much. Cheryl, the other auction is different things. Like I am going to be auctioning off um, purses. I've got um, some purses that are inter you can interchange the outside of them. I want to say they're they're Michi purses, but I don't know if I'm pronouncing that. And I've got a wallet and some clothing lots that I'm doing. And Anthony and Nate will be doing their thing. Um, um, Anthony will be doing plush lots and probably some clothing lots and and things like that. Just just different things. Um, not jewelry. I won't be doing any jewelry. It'll be other things. And um, that's going to be on Anthony's channel, Pixburg. And that's at 4 o'clock. So everybody, it's an hour and a half. So cruise on over to Anthony's at 4. If you go refresh for live, and then you'll see the little um, the thumbnail that Anthony made and you can click set reminder on there and it'll remind you at four. Yep. Pittsburgh, Cheryl, I will do this. Let me pull it up in YouTube and I will share the link. I don't have that big of a, a big of a knot in my ear on that ear. I do on this one. Watermelon sugar high. Okay, here is the link. There's the link, you guys. That's the link to Anthony's channel, and here's what the thumbnail looks like. Christmas auction. I'm not selling anything Christmas, though, but it's just selling things getting ready for Christmas. Maybe Anthony's got Christmas stuff he's selling. But it is at 4 p.m. Eastern. And, and then after that, at 7 o'clock, Dolly's having an auction. Over on her channel, Dolls Dolly. So when you're done with our auction at four, go over to Dolly's auction at seven. It'll be auctions all day. Okay, guys, I've got to go eat. My husband says dinner's ready. 
and then I got to get ready for my four o'clock auction. <gasps> Julia, thank you, honey. It's really short. It's really super short, but I won't have to get a cut for a long time. So thank you so much. All right, guys. Love you. Love you, Kathy. Have a good day, you guys. I love you so much. Bye.